Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill. This is morning prayer for Saturday, September the 23rd. It's the 16th week after Pentecost and week four in the Psalm cycle. Thanks for joining. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia to you, O God, we give thanks. We call upon your name. Alleluia. Psalm 75, and please recite it with me. Alleluia to you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name and declare your wondrous works. You say at the appointed time, I will judge uprightly. Though the earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved, it is I who bear its pillars. I said to the fools, do not boast, and to the wicked, lift not your horn. Lift not your strength on high, and do not speak with a proud neck. For judgment not, comes not from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but God is the judge. God humbles one and raises another. For in your hand is a cup full of wine foaming with mixture. You pour it out and they drink it to the dregs. All of the wicked of the earth shall drink it. And as for me, I rejoice forever. I sing praises to the God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. All the horns of the wicked will be cut off, but the righteous shall be strengthened and exalted. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia to you, O God, we give thanks. We call on your name. Alleluia. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Think of us in this way, as servants of Christ and stewards of God's mysteries. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. I do not even judge myself. I am not aware of anything against myself but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time, before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive commendation from God. I have applied all this to Apollos and myself for your benefit, brothers and sisters, so that you may learn through us what not us what not beyond what is written means, so that none of you will be puffed up in favor of one against the other. For who sees anything different in you? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you received it, why do you boast as if you did not receive? Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church and the world. For the mission of the church, that it may extend the peace and the love of Christ to all people. For Michael, our presiding bishop. For Jennifer Ann, our bishop. For Brother Joe, our community servant. For all of our church leaders. For all clergy and ministers. That they may be ever faithful servants of your word and sacrament. for unity in the church, that our scandalous divisions may be healed. For the poor, for the hungry and the thirsty, and for the destitute and the unemployed, that we may share with them the riches of creation and free the world of poverty and famine. For Joe, our president, for Katie, our governor, for all the leaders of this nation, city, and state, for the leaders of the nations of the world, that they may bring justice and peace in all the earth. For those who've died, especially Philip, Ed, Marilyn, Wayne, Elizabeth, and Fred. And for the victims of terrorism and violence. For those who are sick, especially Robert, for the aged and the infirm, especially those suffering with dementia, and for Bill and for all who struggle with addiction. 
for all who serve in harm's way. For the Mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the Mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O precious God, you are our defender and savior, and your name is great in all the world. Raise us up to sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.